If you ever wonder what is an IoT and how IoT product and solution are built, then this video will help you understand IoT with the real example project. This video is sponsored by Altium Software. Altium is the PCB design tool I used in my very first job when I was working for a company in Germany. Using Altium gives you two advantages in my opinion. One is that you can really build a professional skills. And the second one is you can not only build a simple small circuit, but you can build a really complex high speed electronic circuit using Altium PCB design. So claim your free trial today with the link in a video description or somewhere in a comment section and I'm sure you will enjoy working with Altium. IoT means Internet of Things. IoT is an ecosystem built with a network of hardware, server and software. These are three components to build any IoT architecture. Let's understand them one by one. The first component is a hardware which could be an IoT devices or a gateways. Then comes a server which is usually referred as an IoT cloud platform. And finally comes the software, means a web dashboard or a mobile app or even a voice apps like an Alexa. While building any IoT product or solution, we will have a sensor, say for example LM35, which is an analog temperature sensor. The sensor is connected to microcontroller or microprocessor devices, which one can refer as an IoT devices. We can consider these devices, IoT devices as an Arduino, Raspberry Pi, Node MCU, ESP8266 or ESP32 like devices. The sensor senses temperature data and sends it to an IoT server using a network protocol like MQTT or HTTP. Once we receive a sensor data on a server, we can make a cloud platform to store the data in a database or even we can integrate a third party services like notifications in the form of SMS or email alerts. We can use this data in the database for analytics or predictive maintenance in industry. Further, the data from the server will send it to a custom web dashboard or a mobile app. This client and server communication happen again over network protocol like MQTT or HTTP. It depends on a use case which protocol one can use. But altogether, we can live monitor or control devices in a real time from anywhere in the world. As this complete ecosystem of a hardware, server and software stays connected with internet, we can call this as an IoT enabled temperature monitoring solution. And when it comes to controlling devices remotely, something like a light bulb, let's say we press the button on a web dashboard and the request goes from the web client to the server and then from the server to an IoT device. And finally, the device gets notified to turn on the light bulb. This is how we can remotely control and monitor devices using IoT. You may have got an idea by now. To build an IoT product or solution, we must know many things, such as interfacing of different analog and digital sensors, working knowledge with the cloud and server, and also software application development such as web apps, mobile apps, or even modern days voice apps like an Alexa and Siri. To learn more, check out our high quality courses to become an expert of an embedded system and IoT. We provide high quality courses to teach you the latest technologies and tools to become a successful product developer. I hope you have learned something about an IoT architecture in this video. I request you to check out our Node MCU ESP8266 playlist for more practical IoT projects and learning material. Believe me, it's awesome. Check out the link in the video description for your reference. Thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see us into the next video. Bye bye for now.